This picture, Ronnie Wood of the Rolling Stones taking the elevator down to the Cave of the Winds in Niagara Falls when the band visited here for the zip code tour. Well, soon, that elevator won't be the only one taking people down to the gorge. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Alzafan is live in Niagara Falls. That's right, Desiree. Behind me, the Maid of the Mist boats and a gorgeous view. But in front of me is a phenomenal piece of Western New York's history. And that's actually how you can get down to the latest attraction at Niagara Falls. Joining me to talk about that is Angela Birdie. Thank you so much for joining us again. Um, so what this is the old power plant here. And can you tell me a little bit about the history? I mean, if you could imagine back in the day, in the early 1900s, late 1800s, this wall above us was all factories and mills wow. and power and paper factories that all used the water to generate power. And there was a power plant here called the Shelkoff Power Generating Plant. It was built in the early 1900s. And in 1956, there was a tragedy and it collapsed into the gorge. And so what you see here today are the ruins of that. Um, until the Maid of the Mist made the investment here, it was pretty relatively untouched. So if you roam around, you can still see the ice chute. Um, that's up there at the top of the gorge that was used to sort of funnel ice off from the canal that was bringing water through to generate power. Um, in the rubble of the rocks, if you look closely, you can see lots of metal shards and fragments. One of our most exciting relics is the um, generator piece that I think we're looking at right now. And um, it's just a wonderful place to get a sense of Western New York's history as the place where power really was created. It really is. And one of the neat things that we've been talking about is just the phenomenal view that this gives you. I believe you said all down here, Angela, also line? Yeah, I mean, the, all, even above the falls. That's why this area is so unique is because this was the first place where the state came in and said, you know, we need to preserve this as a natural beauty because it was all factories all along the, the, the gorge overlooking the falls and using the power for uh, the water for power, which was smart at the time and green, certainly, but didn't do a lot for the natural environment. So th this is a really great place to sort of tell that story. We're working on telling that story more fully and connecting the dots. I mean, th when this collapsed, they had to build the power plant in Lewiston. So yep. there's, there's a broader story to be told, and this is really the, the bouncing off point for that. Angela, thank you so much. Coming up, we're going to tell you about the increased access this this gives people to hiking down the Niagara Gorge. That's at 630. Live in Niagara Falls, Rachel Elzefon 7, Eyewitness News.